what are some free alternatives to the most popular software that's out there? So popular software is like Microsoft Office. Uh, sure, you can buy it. It's not that expensive, but let's just say that you didn't want to buy Microsoft Office and you want to use an alternative. Well, Open Office is a free program. It's totally open source. It runs just as good. It has all of the different programs. It has the Office, it has the Excel, it has the PowerPoint. Those are all included and they're interchangeable. So you can open a PowerPoint inside of Open Office's PowerPoint and then you can save it back as an actual Microsoft PowerPoint. So it's really, really cool because you can exchange any of the documents back and forth, but you don't have to pay Microsoft's fee. That's a free product. You can go to filehippo.com, so F-I-L-E-H-I-P-P-O.com, and you can download that. Just put in Open Office and download that program for free if you want to use that as an alternative. The other one that's really cool is an alternative to Photoshop uh, called paint.net, so P-A-I-N-T dot N-E-T dot net. Uh, you can download that as well from File Hippo. It's a free program. Works very similar to Photoshop. It has a lot less features than Photoshop. Um, but yeah, if you need to do image manipulation, if you want to create just basic logos, you want to just do some basic things in there, you don't need the full-blown Adobe product, Paint.net is a good alternative. So those are a couple software products that are open source free. You'll never have to pay for them and they run, they're solid. Um, just be careful when you're downloading from File Hippo and make sure you click the right download and don't, in, don't install any other nonsense that they want to install. It's just install that core program. So this is Joe Fair with Skypoint Studios. I hope you hope that helps you out with your journey. And thank you so much for watching.